Begin with new insight into what caused this deadly crash involving a car and a concrete truck in Romulus. That truck overturned right onto that car, completely crushing it. Happened at the intersection of Van Bourne and Merriman. As our Sean Lay shows us, rescue crews found two other things in the car that could have made this a far greater tragedy. I want to show you what's going on out here in Romulus, but first and foremost, we're keeping a respectful distance away from the victim's car here. The scene here is absolutely gut wrenching, but here's what we know. This cement truck came right down on top of this car, and tonight we know exactly what went wrong here. Cell phone video shows you the immediate aftermath of this horrible crash. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> A cement truck on top of a car, cement pouring out on top of it. That's the stunned cement truck driver. That driver explaining exactly what happened to Ron Dons. She come across from the left lane and cut him off right in the front lane, and he slammed on his brakes, and then that's you see the result from that right there. And he has a dash camera. Correct. When first responders arrived, they could only see the front end of the car. Police and rescue crews couldn't tell how many people were in the car. We do not believe there's anybody alive in that car at all. I, I was just hoping there's no kids involved. You know, that's the, the big kicker right there. I hope no kids were involved. Rigs had to be brought in to hoist the cement truck up so investigators could look inside the car. One deceased in the vehicle, a couple of empty uh, child seats. So. But it just shows you what a close call this was. Yes, yes, very much so. Unfortunately, it's a very tragic accident. A 39-year-old woman was killed. People looking at this horrible scene, they were in shock. Oh, wow. That's insane. I can, I can only imagine what that driver feels like right now. Let's talk about that cement truck driver we saw there in the video. Again, he had a dash cam on his rig there. Police will be reviewing exactly what it shows. Investigators tell me, guys, that they do not believe that he is at fault. The driver's wife says he was banged up, head and neck injury. He was removed to the hospital to be checked out. Moreover, they, she says that he is just torn up about exactly what happened and that a life was lost here. Back to you. Well, Sean, do we have any idea who the victim here is? Yes, just before the 5 o'clock hour, we checked with Romulus police. They have finally identified the victim. Again, she's 39. Nothing public as of yet. They're still mm. looking to tell her family about what happened. Your heart just goes out to that family. So they so exactly right, Sean.